From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and today's Daily Dose of Weird News is being broadcast live directly into your home or car so you can listen on an outpatient basis. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook The Black-Eyed Kids by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample of this terrifying audiobook at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. NASA is starting to give details about their new mission, Solar Probe Plus, in which they're going to send a craft that will fly into the sun. Has our economy rebounded so well that we're okay now to just launch money directly into the sun? Yeah, well, d don't worry about it, though. I mean, it's not going to burn up because I hear they're going to send the probe at night. Senator and longtime SNL writer slash cast member Al Franken credits John Belushi's death from a drug overdose with his getting off drugs. Now, I beat drugs because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. In the aftermath of her disturbing photo shoot with a mocked-up, decapitated Trump head, Kathy Griffin has lost her job at CNN. Oh yeah, that'll show her! seven months from now. Meanwhile, Kathy Griffin has also lost her celebrity endorsement for Squatty Potty. It's a bathroom products company that has a pooping unicorn for a mascot. And no, I'm not kidding about that. Man, you know you've screwed up when even the folks at a company that specialize in pooping are offended by your actions. Scott Pelley has been shown the door and he is out at the CBS Evening News. Hey, you know, I hear Kathy Griffin might be available now to fill that slot. President Trump has picked up around 3 million Twitter followers in recent days, most of which appear to be Twitter bots. Screenwriter John Niven points out that Trump's account saw a big spike in followers over the weekend, with most of them newly created accounts without photos or tweets, which are telltale signs of Twitter bots. Well, sounds like screenwriter John Niven is an unemployed screenwriter with way too much time on his hands. Schools are increasingly taking charge of lunchtime, encouraging parents to pack healthy choices in their kids' lunchboxes. But a mom in Australia was shocked when she was called out for sending her child to school not with a candy bar or with a can of soda, no, but a pack of raisins. According to a note sent home with the child, the reason the raisins were shunned by the school was because of their high sugar content. <laughs> really? <laughs> we're not talking rum raisin ice cream here, it was just a box of plain old raisins! Man, the only thing more dried up than raisins nowadays is the critical thinking in schools. United Airlines is facing a fine for flying a plane 23 times when it was not classified as airworthy. Eh, well, that, that might explain why my flight was delayed while they looked for a pair of jumper cables. It seems around eight Yale University graduate students claiming union status demonstrated in front of the Yale president's home recently to demand better benefits. And by better benefits, they of course meant benefits beyond the annual free tuition, $30,000 stipends, and free health care that they already get. Yeah! Some of the students characterized their actions as an indefinite fast. Others called it a hunger strike. However, check this out, a pamphlet associated with the unionizing made it clear that strikers could leave and go eat any time they got hungry. <laughs> so, so there are hunger strikes and then there are hunger strikes at Yale. Private data has been stolen from Chipotle in a computer breach. Some people will do anything for that secret E. coli recipe. Well, it seems President Trump has been handing out his cell phone number to world leaders and urging them to call him directly, an unusual invitation that breaks diplomatic protocol and is raising concerns about the security and secrecy of the Commander-in-Chief's communications. Reportedly, Trump has urged leaders of Canada and Mexico to reach him on his cell phone. Aha! Uh -huh, that's it! Seven digits for a phone number. His phone number must be Cavefe. The Oklahoma state budget has caused schools to cut back to only four days a week. Children all across America are now begging their parents to move to Oklahoma. Recent research reveals you can make yourself feel good 
simply by talking about yourself. Those who share information about themselves stimulate areas of the brain linked to value and motivation, according to a Harvard study. Researcher Diana Tammy says that is why some folks constantly talk about themselves, noting it feels good. Man, Barack Obama must always be in a good mood. A man was arrested at the Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. with an assault rifle, a handgun, and 90 rounds of ammunition in his possession. Well, I, I guess that's one way to ensure you get some alone time at the hotel pool. Payless Shoes could close another 400 stores. Yes, there will be less Payless. The Marlar House mobile app's now available, and it's free. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Watch Marlar House YouTube videos, check out the t-shirts, mugs, audiobooks, and other stuff in the Marlar House store, see what's in my blog, and more. It's all in one app, and it's free for iOS and Android users. You can download it now at MarlarHouse.com mobile. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!